Rumor has it that ServiceNow has a brand new development environment and it's breaking down some serious barriers for the no coders on the platform. In this short video, I'll be explaining Creator Studio, ServiceNow's brand new development environment and the best place for no coders to build moving forward. My name is Lauren McManaman. I am a nine year member of the ServiceNow community and your developer advocate of the day. Let's get started. While ServiceNow as a product is technically an AI platform, many people perceive it through the various applications that their company owns. These apps can be purchased from ServiceNow itself, like ITSM or HRSD, purchased through partner networks, or perhaps developed in-house. The very first on-platform development environment, aka the place where developers build these custom apps, was deployed on the platform in the Geneva release of 2015 but it really only catered to the pro coders of the world. A few years later, however, in the Quebec release of 2021, App Engine Studio made its debut, which was built intentionally with the low and no code audience in mind. While App Engine Studio certainly helped bridge the gap, getting more coders on the platform than ever, we were really confident as a company that we could go further. For the last few years, ServiceNow has strove as a company to build a true environment for non-technical builders to confidently build these types of applications. And by these types of applications, I mean by far the most type of applications, service request based ones. Thus, Creator Studio was born by narrowing our focus to the service request applications of the world. It allowed ServiceNow to create a much, much more guardrailed experience hiding away even more complexity and allowing business people to truly build independently on their own. Now, I know that we've been talking about specifically the no-code audience, but this is a tremendous boon for the low and pro-code audiences as well. Service request style apps are extremely common and often the bulk of what makes up the backlog for these types of developers. Creator Studio therefore frees these people up substantially either allowing them to bust out these type of service requests act extremely quickly or delegating that work elsewhere entirely. Creating an app on Creator Studio is as simple as clicking a button where the no-code developer can accurately describe the name of the intentional application as well as a description of what need it'll be serving. From here, they can utilize a whole repertoire of templates to jumpstart the creation of their app, which can be set up by your own pro code team with your company's best practices already in mind. After choosing exactly where in your corporate catalog that this new service can be accessed, the developer can harness the business acumen to pick the best experiences for those involved in this said service. Does this app require a desktop experience, a mobile app, perhaps some sort of conversation with a virtual agent? What questions should be asked of the requester and what format should they respond in? Should certain fields be mandatory under certain conditions? For those working on these requests, once they're already submitted, what should their experience look like? How should their lists of requests be organized and which fields should be present in those said lists? And all of this is done without a single line of code. Now this covers a huge landscape of the app building process, but perhaps you'd also like to dip your toe into automation. You can do that here as well. Through Creator Studio, you can leverage playbooks, which is another completely codeless automation experience. The no-code developer from here can set up an entire scaffold for what should occur in this process per their expertise of the business that the pro coders can then fill in the blanks later on. When all is said and done, they can submit their app for review, which makes my developer heart very happy. No one is excused from checks and balances, not even the low coders in the community. And know that this entire approval process can be fitted to your company's exact standards. Now, especially with the speed we went through this, this might seem like a very simple process, but a quick look under the hood in one of the other studios really reveals all the work that Creator Studio is performing behind the scene. Oh, and did I forget to mention? Creator Studio is bi-directionally compatible with every other development experience on the platform, meaning your pro coders and no coders, and of course, low coders, can constantly work together and their progress can be accessed on both ends of the spectrum. Now, this all is just a taste test of what you can do on Creator Studio. If you'd like to learn more, I highly encourage you to check out developer.servicenow.com where you can not only get a free instance of ServiceNow called a PDI or personal developer instance with Creator Studio already loaded, but you could access documentation, labs, and guides to further your education. If you happen to be watching this video between September 9th and October 8th of 2024, be sure to check out my other video on hashtag build with Creator Studio, a brand new challenge that our team is running with some very cool swag for the participants. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate you to leave a like, and if you'd love more content from the developer ad 
advocacy team, please go ahead and click subscribe as well. That's all I've got for y'all today. Stay hungry, stay humble, and I'll see y'all later. Cheers.